Hey, it's your boy, the American actor. What's going on today, guys? Today is day six. But, yeah, day five was dope, man. Day five, I went to the gym twice. You know, I didn't do a whole lot of sets. But I, I like my progress in the gym. I'm kind of scared now. I'm kind of scared that I might wake up with uh, hypoglycemia. But, I mean, I'm only five days into a fast, right? So I think I should still have some good energy stored from the food I ate <laughs> five days ago. That's so funny shit to say, right? But I kind of know how my body works. Um, I would have I went harder at the gym. Was if it wasn't for those pesky kids, name that show, you know. Um, but yeah, there was someone in there that was kind of blocked in with, with where I wanted to go. I wanted to hit some squats and shit. I haven't hit squats, I think, in a few weeks. I actually kind of just forgot about them. But anyways, I'm feeling good, like really good. I'll be up all night, just zoning out, working. You know, working on my plans to take over the world type shit. You know what I mean? But, uh, man, I don't know. I keep saying this, but when it's about to hit them, them sunny seasons, them warmer seasons, I just, I just, I just like, uh, I just awaken. That's, that's why I keep talking about bears and hibernation and stuff, because I just feel like that's a part of me. Like, I feel like there, there's something about it, like. I guess at some point I'll read up on it. Yeah, at some point I'll read up on it. But there's something about seasons, right? Seasons, I guess it does make sense. I mean, how am I going to believe in astrology and did not be, I mean, of course, I do believe in seasons, but I haven't really researched it, like, as far as this effect on psychology, right? I've heard about seasonal depression, right? What is it called? Seasonal anxiety disorder. I've heard about that and stuff like that. So it, it has to be a thing. But, yeah, my body already knows oh shit spring is coming like and it starts to move into that gear like i've been thinking about my bike and riding that thing for, like the whole like the past few days once i found out i was going to be like nearly 70 degrees tomorrow oh shit i've been thinking about that joint and being that i'm only you know five days six days into a fast i'll be okay to ride it i just can't ride it for like, you know, 15 miles like I'd be doing sometimes, 10 miles. I'll have to keep it three miles. Three miles seems so short, but yeah, I'll, I'll restrict myself because if I feel okay after I do it, I can do it the next day and the next day. But um, I'm almost at that point where I feel like bittersweet. I know I got a long way to go. I still got what, 11 days if you count? Today, too, 12 days, but it feel like I only got, like, I feel, I feel, yeah, I feel like I only got a week left. That's how it feels, because before you know it, the weekend will be over. Like, it's, it's only Tuesday, but I could already see it being Sunday night, but I need to take things one day at a time, because any anything could change. Again, I could wake up with hypoglycemia. So many things could change. I've learned. I've learned one day at a time. The morning the afternoon, the night, and really I evaluate everything after I wake up. After I wake up, I kind of know. After I wake up, after I wake up. Things usually change when I sleep. So I've been scared to weigh myself. And one of the reasons I've been scared to weigh myself is because of the refeed, right? Now, when I say scared, I mean, there's really nothing to fear, right? I haven't eaten in five whole days, right? But it's more so like the psychological impact of the number. I'm fasted for 17 days. It doesn't matter what the number is today versus what it is on day 17. I'm fasting for 17 days. You feel me? Um, it is kind of cool to mark the beginning and mark the end, maybe even mark the middle or whatever. As far as numbers go, it is kind of cool. But I'm, I'm um, focused on the big picture when it comes to weight loss at this point. And I'm no longer excited by how many, how much weight I will lose in a certain fasting period. You understand? That's just my own personal thing. Now, psychologically, if I get on the scale, and let's say I weigh more <laughs> than I weighed when I ended my last fast, right? And mind you, I only refed for one day. I, I refed for about 4,200 calories. Um, 
Imagine if I weigh more. Of course, it would be water weight, but psychologically, that would affect me. It's just the truth, right? You have to know yourself, right? The truth is that would affect me psychologically. So I've decided I'm not going to weigh myself yet. But I am trying to figure out when am I going to weigh myself? Is it going to be in the middle? Or right, what is the middle of 17 days? I guess day nine, you know? I don't know. But I kind of feel like weighing myself right now. But another thing I know is that after I sleep, that's the best time to weigh myself, especially if I get full, complete sleep. But see, when I think about all that sort of shit, it's like, eh. But this is the first time during this fast, right, that I've even thought about weighing myself. This is actually the first time. I don't know how that works. But yeah, I have went five full days without even the thought of the scale. Other than the time when I had to move the scale because it was in the way of something. I haven't even thought of, like, I don't even think of shit like that, right? Because I know in 17 days, I'm not going to drop 30 pounds, right? I'm trying to get under 200. So it's going to take my set, my third fast, the six-day fast. After this 17-day fast, I plan on doing a six-day fast. And I predict by that point, if I'm not at, it, it, I guess it all depends on how I refeed between the 17-day and the six-day fast. But usually what I do is I do a fast, I refeed, right? I refeed for at max 24 hours, and then I do another water fast for 48 to 72 hours. That has, that has been very effective. Now you might say, hold on, you just fasted for X amount of days, and now you eat, and then you do another one? Yeah, I do that. And one of the reasons I do that is because I know myself. When I refeed, I go crazy. So I slow myself down. That's how I slow myself down. I say, okay, I know you want to go crazy. You haven't eaten an X amount of days. Go ahead and eat, right? Go ahead and eat. For the most part, I eat clean. And then I fast again. And then I decide what I'm going to do during that um, 48 to 72 hour uh, water fasting period. I do that for other reasons too, such as edema, right? Water retention, um, you know, I like to reintroduce the gym to myself. And I feel like if I'm eating while I reintroduce the gym, that's just too much strain on the body. So I usually like to, I know it sounds crazy, but during that period of time when I'm doing that 48 hour to 72 hour fast, I like to go to the gym as much as I want. I truly believe that that food that's in me, when I refeed, it, it, it just sits there for a while while my body <laughs> decides, okay, what the fuck is this? Food. What is food? You know, so, yeah, you just have to learn yourself. And I'm not saying I'm 100% right about all this shit. I'm just telling you that that's just the things that I've picked up, the things that I've learned, and what works for me so far. Um, I'm excited, man, about this next 50 pounds. I'm ready to drop it off. I try not to calculate things based on days, you know. They say you lose about half a pound of fat a day when you water fast. If I was to do the math, that means that after this fast, even after the six day fast, I will need another one. I might fast, no, nah, no, nah, I promised myself at the end of spring, at the beginning of the spring, that'd be the end kind of, but I always make promises to myself. But what I have written down on my board, okay, is that after the six day water fast, all right, I'm going to do OMAD sicko as I try and transition into maintenance. But I know myself, okay? I know myself. I'm very likely after the six day fast to do something crazy. I, it's just very likely. It, it's, it's so likely. I'm calling it now. But the plan is sicko OMAD after the 17 day fast, small refeed, six day water fast. Yeah, that's the plan. But what's likely going to happen, depending on how I feel momentum wise, is maybe like a 21 day water fast after the six, either 21 to 30. But that just sounds so crazy. But it's like, that's me. Know yourself. The six day water fast. The end of the six day water fast will mark 90 days. That's why, um, it's six days. 
the seven and the six were actually supposed to be together, but because I have to go on call for my job, I decided to split it. I'll get one feeding session in before I go on call, just in case anything arises. I might get, I might, I might refeed longer. It depends on how bad the refeed is. If I refeed too much, if I eat too much food on refeed day, then I would do, I will immediately go into the six day water fast or three day water fast and then the six day water fast. And I know what you guys are thinking. Yes, I still have eating issues. I still am working on that. Wouldn't it be a beautiful thing if I can just wake up one day and just eat like a a regular person? That would be such a beautiful thing. It's coming. It's coming. And I'm documenting this whole thing. So you guys will see with your own two eyes. And me too. It's been your boy, the American African, day six under the way. I catch you on day seven, maybe, maybe day eight, maybe day nine, maybe day ten. I don't really know, but I'm trying. To, I'm trying to shoot something every day. I'm trying. I'm trying. Peace.